Hello, this is Zapatista. Uh, today I'm going to be reviewing an indie game I found named EG. It's a pretty cool game. You probably never heard of it, but you should have because it's all over the uh, the indie game websites. It's got really high ratings. Figured I'd give it a try. It's basically a cross between uh, like Metroid and the early um, Earthworm Jim buttons and then the up, down, left, and right keys. Okay, here we go. You play as a woman who, uh, basically, basically you play as this woman, she's a cyborg, right? She's got these uh, nanobots in her. It's amazing. Okay. So I've gotten pretty far in the game. So and I'm going to skip ahead of like this little plot stuff, you know, so you can learn the stuff on your own when you play the game. Alright. So down on the left hand corner of the screen you see you got some weapons. You can hack boxes by pressing C and then break open. It's kind of like your security. You might see she's reaching her hand forward there. That means she's trying to hack something, you know, hack the air. Now she's hacking a box. Security 2. My, my uh, hack level's 10, so I got this in the bag. That little white ball is free-floating nanobots. They restore your, uh, or they raise your level, actually. I'm going to kick this door down here and unload on this guy with my shotgun. You might see I'm not getting anywhere. We've got some fireworks, right? Fortunately, I got a rocket launcher. Oh, that hurt. There we go. Little rocket launcher action, take care of that guy. An upgrade for the rocket launcher weapon. Three rockets. Yep. Now, the whole point of the story here is you're adapting this alien technology, right? So I also have a firework weapon. And it kicks ass. Alright, this is getting dangerous. Hop on this bike. It's actually a really hard level. I might die. You can shoot while you're riding this thing, too, so... It's pretty awesome. Collect some health. Or, I mean, some level upage, I should say. The red stuff up here, this is this is the hell. Looks like there's a guy up there. I'm gonna go kick his ass. Oh, yeah, by the way, sometimes I get worked up playing these games, so this could get a little R-rated. You never know. That's basically what's happening. I'm gonna kick this guy here. My level's not high enough to kick this guy down, so... Alright, so that weapon he's been using against me, that's his pulse cannon, right? I got a pulse cannon too, so we're gonna see how this works. Little pulse cannon fight. There you go. Pretty cool. All right, let's see. All right, these bikes, these are called uh, Tazen uh, bikes and can crash through doors. Basically run through enemies a bunch of times and they die. Unless, of course, they knock you down. These little blinking uh, things right here, they upgrade your, uh, your status, basically. So this is gonna, this is gonna reflect hits against me. I'm using an upgraded version of that weapon I've been using. I shoot purple stuff. And there you go. There you go. Might have noticed this game can get pretty intense, but you don't die, which is nice. Because dying sucks, and this woman's a cyborg, so there's not a lot of dying in this game. Alright, here we go. But if you're not careful, I mean, they'll get you. Okay, so I've been using that weapon for a while. I got this splinter gun, too. This one's also kind of boring. Just shoots sparks and shit. There you go. A little fireworks, whatever. I got this really cool gun here. It actually knocks you down. I think there's a big enemy down here, so... There you go. Yeah, that blue fireworks this time. These are all supposed to be nano weapons for some reason. I don't know what makes them nano, but... Uh, these green balls 
restore armor. And those little cases explode when you shoot them, so you don't want to like get close to them and then like knock them over. You find that this game gets kind of maze-like. I don't know, sometimes it's kind of hard to tell where you're going. You open those little security panels or whatever, and then they'll open the door, and then you can progress through the level. Alright, now this right here, I got this really cool enemy here. It's this bounty hunter guy that's been chasing me the whole goddamn time. Here we go. Using my lightning gun. It's actually some kind of rail gun. It's called like cyclic fusion ignition system, right? I don't know. I like to call it the lightning gun. They could have been a little less creative coming up with the names, but you know. Okay, so that got him. Pick up some health. You pick up. I have all the weapons, so when I pick up these weapons, they basically just add to my uh, normal, normal stuff. All right, uh, real quick, I'm going to show you some other weapons I like. This one I call a flashlight. It's basically the strongest weapon I have. So I've actually run into some enemies here. Uh, let's see. Booyah! There you go, there's the flashlight. Okay, next I'm gonna try the nuke. I'm gonna damage that guy below me. Basically hits everybody on the screen. It's pretty neat. Okay, so this guy here, this guy's gonna kill me. The sad thing is, is I'm trying. I don't know, it's, it's hard. Try out the flashlight again. You're gonna hear her scream when she dies. It's oh man. All right, and this this is my little checkpoint. So that's how you how you save. All right. So all in all, it's a pretty cool game, and I recommend it. And it's for free. So on a scale of chunky Game Boy to modded DS Lite, I'm gonna give this one. A Game Boy Micro. It's compact, it's cute, and leaves a small footprint on your system. I got some uh, quick shout outs to some other uh, YouTubers. I got uh, Computer Wizard, he does some cool Mario hacks. And Griffin Lobster, he does a cool Let's Play Super Mario Brothers 3. So, have you heard of EG? Yes, I bet you have. Yeah.